man, tough, tough game. Uh, Golden State Warriors championship DNA executed and showcased and flexed why they they have that DNA in them. And this game was over, man. Towards the end of the game, the Kings just did not have enough. Uh, very frustrating loss. I was there to witness it. Very, very heartbroken. Um, one twenty three to one sixteen is the final score tonight from Golden One Center. The Kings ended up losing. And the Golden State Warriors are ahead three games to two, and they'll have a chance to uh, wrap this shit up Friday night in San Francisco. Um, I'm emotionally down right now, a lot in my mind, but a couple of things that just drives me crazy in this game. Uh, <clears throat> Kevon, let's just start off with Kevon Looney. I cannot believe I'm saying this. Kevon Looney has is the Big reason why the Warriors are, are on the cups of winning the series. Um, we've had no fucking answer for Kevon Looney. I'm looking at Kevon Looney's numbers tonight. He had four points, seven assists, 22 fucking rebounds. If you're Demonis Sabonis, if you're the Kings bigs, you cannot let Kevon Looney get 22 fucking rebounds, man. I mean, that shit just drives me crazy. Um, very, very out hustled and outplayed. Um, he's been a big f- factor of why they're up three games to two. Uh, and now you know what? I'm happy to take my L because I thought that Sabonis would have his way with Kevon Looney in the series. But damn, I'm happy to admit that I was wrong because damn, I was wrong. Kevon Looney has out hustled, outplayed Domas and the Kings Bigs in this series. And it's very frustrating to say that. Um, let's talk about the numbers with the starting five. De'Aaron Fox played 42 minutes tonight, 24 points, seven boards, nine assists. Uh, just didn't have enough in him in, at, towards the end of the game. The shot was off. I'm pretty sure the finger was definitely bothering him. Um, but he's probably not going to come out and admit that because, you know, his shots were off, uh, especially down the stretch. Uh, I had a feeling this was going to happen because uh, it's hard to play with the broken finger, man. And the fact that it was on the shooting arm, um, shooting hand, should I say, makes it that much worse. Demonis Sabonis, 36 minutes tonight. He had 21 points, 10 boards, 4 assists. I thought he was fantastic offensively. I thought Domas did great offensively. But, again, just down the stretch when we need rebounds, Sabonis could not hold his own against Looney, man. Um, whether it was Looney, whether it was that scrub Gary Payton, just we couldn't get key stops and key rebounds down the stretch. So, very disappointed. And Keegan Murray, 35 minutes tonight. He had 10.6 boards, zero assists. Keegan was 4-5 or five, we're off in the field, and he was 2-2 two two from downtown in the first quarter. What the fuck? Why do we not run plays for Keegan Murray throughout the rest of the game after the first quarter? Why the hell did we do isolations with Malik Monk and Harrison Barnes? That's not our bread and butter. We move the fucking ball side to side. Keegan Murray, why were we not looking for Keegan Murray? It's like we went away from what was working in the fucking first quarter. Like, I'm sorry for my language, but, man, it just drives me fucking crazy. Keegan Murray was nowhere. He didn't, I don't even think he touched the ball the rest of the game after the first quarter. I don't even think he touched the ball in the, after the game in the first quarter. Like, come on, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Harrison Barnes in 33 minutes, he had 13 points, three boards, one assist. Um, Kevin Herter, 16 minutes, he had 9 points, 4 boards, 2 assists. Um, very frustrating. The fact that Barnes was not good tonight, Kevin Herter has been MIA the whole series. Uh, it's just very frustrating to see this thing crumble, man. Very, very frustrating to see this thing crumble. Um, the bench, uh, Malik Monk, 29 minutes, he had 21 points, 5 boards, 3 assists. Malik Monk was 8 of 10 from the free throw line, got most of his points from the free throw line, but... Even Malik Monk, like, yo, one of five from three pointer, I get that. But too many isolation plays. Like, what are we doing? Why why is Malik Monk forcing shots? Yeah, I get that he was big time in the fourth quarter and you got it going, but yo, move the ball. Don't force shit. Davion Mitchell, twenty four minutes tonight, he had ten points, one board, one assist, and you know, I thought Davion Mitchell was solid all, all, overall. 
yeah, he was uh, two of eight from downtown, and he missed some wide open three pointers. But you know, it's very unfortunate. You know, you're wide open, the the shot looks good, and you know, some of those threes just did not go in for Dave. Trey Lyles in 13 minutes, he had five points, five boards, one assist. Alex Land got 12 minutes tonight. He had three points, three boards, one assist. And that was the rotation for tonight's game. Overall from the field, we shot 47% from the field. 10 of 34 from downtown, 29%. 22 of 26, 85% from the free throw line. We had 19 turnovers and 22 dimes. Um, I want to go back to the three-point shooting. Boy, we had we, we, we made fucking two three-pointers after the first quarter. We had eight three-pointers in the fucking first quarter. And we made two of them. Let me repeat this shit. Two fucking three-pointers after the first quarter. You're not going to win basketball games if you're going to freaking only make two three-pointers for the rest of the game. Just frustrating, man. Really, really is frustrating. And I know this team is so much better than what we've seen it. And you know what? I knew the Warriors were going to execute down the stretch. They were they they showcased it why they're the defending champs. Give them credit where it's all due. The fact that it's hard for me to admit that they were the better team tonight. They were the better team tonight. Um, Draymond Green hits a one-legged Dirk Nowitzki fucking fadeaway shot, and he was on his game tonight. Um, we gave him what we took. He took what the defense gave him, and he was making shots, man. You know, there's stuff to beat when he's. Him in particular making shots. Um, you know, Clay Thompson did his thing too. And Steph was going to Steph. Like, Steph Curry did his thing. Jordan Poole did his thing. And they just, they're they're battle-tested, man. They are battle-tested. And the fact that the Kings just couldn't execute on the stretch. And, you know, De'Aaron Fox was shorting the shots. I'm not bashing or knocking on De'Aaron Fox. We already knew what he's, you know, playing with with the broken finger. I mean, I give my heart and soul my credit to De'Aaron Fox for even getting on the floor tonight and trying to play through that injury because we all know it's tough. And I know I'm not making up excuses because De'Aaron Fox played with a broken finger. It is what it is. You know, I'd rather have De'Aaron Fox still out there on the court knowing his presence is felt. And um, he just didn't have it in him down, down the stretch. He didn't have it in him. You can see it. You can see it on his shot. You can see it on his floater lift. It just, they were short. Um, he just didn't have it in him. And... It's very frustrating to see this shit just crumble, man. Um, very heartbroken. You know, we'll have another chance to force a game seven on Friday night, but I can tell you this. it It's just based on what we've seen from the Warriors tonight, they have the momentum to close this out Friday in their house, and it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, man. And very frustrating seeing this all crumble out and pan out in front of me. And, you know, I'm proud of this team. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm proud of this team, and I'm proud of what we've accomplished this season. But, man, when a series is tied 2-2, you have the game five in your house. You have the crowd on your side. And you just don't – you continue to struggle from the three-point line. You know, a big part of that is because Kevin Herter hasn't been himself. And we only made two three-pointers after the first quarter, man. Like – what are we doing? At times, the offense got stagnant. Why are we not running plays for Keegan Murray? He was 4-5, of 2-2 two of two from downtown the first freaking quarter. Why did we go away from Keegan Murray, bro? Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. Very frustrated with that. Um, and, you know, it's do or die time. You lost your home court. They have a game in their house. You've shown that you've been the, one of the better, best road teams in the Western, West, best road team in the Western Conference all year. Um, you've got blown out in Game Three. You lost by one point in Game Four. Game Six is in their house. You got to come out and you got to freaking take it to them. You got to hit them in the mouth first in Game Six because if you don't, it's going to be over real quick. And if you shoot the three point shooting from tonight, how it's twenty nine percent. If you shoot like that. In game six, when the season's online, yeah, you can forget about it. You're not going to win game six shooting fucking 29% from the three-point line. And it's very frustrating to me because I'm very explicit. I'm very emotional, and I know this team is so much better than what they've been this series, man. I mean, especially the last three games. I know they're so much better than what we've seen, you know. 
And it's just, it really makes me mad. This is a heartbreak. Really, really is t- unfortunate. It's such a heartbreak. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday. We'll see how it goes in San Francisco. Um, that's going to do it for me for today's video. I hope you, all, you guys have a great night. Peace.